Dubai Thursday night. We just came back, settled, went to sleep. Friday morning, I had the KK in Dubai event that I did with Hair by Gertie, which is a natural hair blogger out here in the UAE. She's based in Abu Dhabi, but came to Dubai and met a few women um, who are, are do have natural hair or thinking about you know, going natural. The natural hair community here in the UAE is definitely growing, especially because a lot of black women here are expats um, from various African countries, but also a couple from the US too. So I'll be interested to see in the coming years how the community kind of grows and forms and develops. Our photographer here did a great job <laughs> taking photos and answering questions about like engagement and stuff. I think people were asking you as now they will be lots and lots and lots. Um, so then what did we do after? We went to the mall. You should talk about the mall because you're really excited about the Dubai mall. It's really grand. Sorry. <laughs> it's very nice. The bed was very nice. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah, the most surprising thing. Not surprising thing. Surprisingly random thing is the shark tank. <laughs> the aquarium. Yeah. With many, many sharks. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. There was also a waterfall. <laughs> an ice ring, lots of stores. The mall is right next to the Burj Khalifa, which I hope I said that right, which is the tallest building in the world. I don't know how many floors it has, it's really tall. Um, but the outside the mall at like every half hour they do a water fountain show. So we saw that at 6 and then again at 6.30. And it was just, by 6.30 like the sun had went down. It was really, really beautiful. Everything in Dubai is just like lavish and extraordinary and like over the top, but still, I mean, over the top is nice sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then we went on a down cruise. So they have this like, they have various creeks and then you can like get on like a boat cruise and you'll have food and like, I don't know, a DJ. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Our DJ was mad whack. Like, yeah, did we have a DJ? They were just like plugging in staff phones uh, and they were playing Mad Pitbull for whatever reason. We did this album. Pitbull's not a real artist. Anyway, <laughs> I, I don't know. So that was Friday. Uh, Saturday, we had lunch with some friends. Oh yeah, we, we had, had some, friends, some friends from some friends from college. We had lunch with them. We and we got our first Friday. engagement gift because they came okay. for our lunch. That was nice. Ah, we get used to this. Okay, I went on a desert safari, uh, which was also surprisingly fun. Oh yeah, because you had been like the whole time been like, no, I don't want to go, like we should go to a water park instead. Like, you can go to a water park anywhere, you can't go to Desert Safari anywhere else. Like, no. Yeah, I mean, it's just sand. It's not just sand. It's super cool because your driver like goes like up and down all the dunes and then you're like, whoa, whoa. You actually were having more fun than anybody else. So I had to make the most of it. <laughs> and then they drive you into, um, I don't know, like a place where there's like a barbecue. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't really a barbecue, it was like a buffet style meal. It was nice. And they had a belly dancer who was like, all right. And then this other performer who was spun in circles for like 10 minutes straight and then would do his outfit like lit up and then he would like pick up, he's wearing a skirt like thing and like pick it up and like throw it. It was, he was cool. He was like, uh, I thought his performance was a lot better than the belly dancer lady. Um, that was Saturday. Okay, another thing is that there's so much construction happening in Dubai. Like, they're building everything. They're building every single possible thing. And apparently they're big, they'll, they are building, like, a Taj Mahal, but bigger than the original Taj Mahal. They just, like, want to build everything. They're building the, the world's largest mall, which they already have. But they're building another one, just so nobody can compete with them. So yeah, there's construction everywhere. Anyway, so then Sunday, which is yesterday, we went to Abu Dhabi. I don't know why I said it like that. But to Abu Dhabi, it's like a, an hour and a half away by bus. Um, so it was a nice little day trip to do. And when we were there, we went to the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, which is the most magnificent building I have ever seen in my entire life and probably will ever see in my entire life. I'm not until, they, uh, <laughs> until they open the Taj Dubai. <laughs> For real. Um, yeah, I don't, words can't even describe. It's just, nice. yeah, it was just beautiful. And we got to wear um, a baya. I wore a baya and you wore a, what's it called? It's part of the K. That's what I call it? No, that's what okay. the sign said. Yeah. 
We wore like the traditional Muslim attire because we wanted to, the, you know, the experience. There's like separate male and female changing rooms and stuff like that, and, like male and female entrances. Um, so that was cool. And then after that, we <laughs> met up with some friends for a bite to eat, which was nice, and chatted a little bit. And then we walked along the beach, Cornish Beach. Um, walk on the water was like more than lukewarm. It was so warm. It's so hot here. It's been. 105 degrees every day. We're both like sweating right now because <laughs> we're recording this on the balcony. Um, yeah. Even though we're in the shade, it's still super hot. But um, Cornish Beach is really, really nice. We got some, oh my gosh, I had Nutella, a Nutella milkshake at Cinnabon, which was heavenly. And I mentioned it because I don't know if Cinnabon in the US has Nutella milkshakes, but now I will check. And if they do, I will be there. He doesn't understand people are obsessed with Nutella, but it's really good. It's good. You also didn't know that it was hazelnut. I was shocked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, we drove by Emirates Palace. <laughs> yeah. I we wanted to go inside. Talk about it, right? We should because it's so beautiful. There. It's so beautiful. It's okay. He was really salty because we wanted to go inside, but our taxi driver was like, "Oh no, you can't go inside if you're wearing shorts." And Mr. was wearing shorts, so he like climbed out of his suit and was like, "What kind of place can I walk in when I'm not wearing shorts? A place that it costs three thousand dollars to sleep in. That's the kind of place you can't wear shorts." <laughs> it's a useless place. <laughs> anyway, then we just like took the bus back. But Abu Dhabi was nice. It's a lot calmer than Dubai. Dubai has a lot of like stuff going on. Lots of hotels, lots of people, lots of crowd. Abu Dhabi is, is that the, I think it's the capital. So it's where a lot of like government offices, embassies are, and also where like the sheik and the prince have like mad palaces and whatnot. So um, it was just a different feel. I definitely would re recommend if you're going to Dubai or going to Abu Dhabi, make sure that you spend some time in both of the places because they do have different feels to them. This morning, last day in Dubai, we've just been taking it easy. We went to the gym, you know, trying to work off these extra pounds we've been putting on from traveling and also just being happy and in love and whatnot. Um, went to the gym, it's not just me, it's you too. So, <laughs> went to the gym, went to the pool, it's a really beautiful pool. I don't have pictures of the pool, um, but really nice pool here and where we're staying in Dubai. And now we're heading to the mall of Emirates where they have a ski oh, yeah. slope. We're not going skiing. I can't ski. I have no desire to learn how to ski. Um, but they have, when I tell you like Dubai has everything, like they have everything. It's a free Wi-Fi everywhere. Nowhere has free Wi-Fi everywhere. It's just not a thing. Why not? I don't know why not. When you build your own city, you can build free Wi-Fi everywhere. Um, so yeah, we're excited that we got the opportunity to come um, on this trip, spend some time together, you know, give someone the perfect setting to have an English <laughs> oh, yes, yes. We're really hot, so we're going to head out, but thank you so much for tuning in to our KK and KK and BK. Yes, BK. <laughs> Um, recap, um, I don't know how people do daily vlogs because, I don't know, you just want to spend time enjoying and not necessarily like making videos, but I thought it was important to do a video while we were out here in this beautiful, beautiful setting. And now I will see, we will see you next time on the next episode <laughs> of the next KKMA video. You're really eager to get up. Okay, bye! Bye!